Okay, to understand what's going on and what the problem is, let's look at how the operating system works. Now, when your system starts, the operating system is loaded from your hard drives into the physical chip's RAM. Now, normally the boot process finds all those files, each individual one, and then loads them into the memory until there's enough to operate the system. But with Fastboot enabled, during the shutdown, the operating system status is saved from your RAM into a single file on your hard drive. The old hibernation function did essentially the same thing, but Fastboot logs out of the current user session, which closes down any running programs. This results in a much smaller file that's even quicker to load. By the way, using an SSD as your boot drive will decrease your loading times as well. Well, when Windows loads your new operating system along with the new hardware qualified drivers, they're not going to match the drivers in your current Fastboot file. Now, the system should remove that and rebuild it, but there seems to be a mismatch. Well, fortunately, the fix seems to be pretty easy. I tested this on my own systems and on several people I've helped on Reddit, and it always has worked uh, to rectify the problem. So, it's very easy. All you have to do is open up your settings app. And once that opens up, you just simply go up to the top here, go to System, and it'll open up and you go out to power down here and click on that. Now we're going to jump out of the settings app to the old control panel. We're going to click on the related settings down here. And you'll see you're in the power management of the old control panel. By the way, I'm using this method to get there because eventually the control panel is going to go away. But as long as we're there, we're going to click up here and we're going to click on choose what the buttons do, the power buttons do. Now down here you'll find some shutdown settings here. And uh, you can't do anything with them. By default, they're disabled. So we have to go up here to near the top and click on this here to unlock them. So once they're enabled, just click on the box to uncheck it and then go ahead and save the changes at the bottom. Then it's just a matter of shutting down your system. Don't do a reboot, just shut down. Uh, it'll eliminate your fast boot file and then bring it back up and then turn this back on and shut down again. You shouldn't have any more problems after that. There's one more thing you can do to help your system boot faster, and that's to actually uh, set the size of your hibernation file. So we go to Power Shell here, and we open up a window. You type in the following commands. Now, first, I'm going to expand it because, I, quite frankly, I don't know what the size mine is. Uh, but if you never use Hyperfill, uh, you're going to want to reduce it. So let's go in here, and I'm going to put it to the full size. And you'll see that the size on my particular system, yours may differ, is around 6 terabytes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the reduce and type the same command but use reduced as the setting and you'll see that it's now only half that size. So combine this with refreshing your uh, drive, you should have no problems with uh, rebooting or sleep. I appreciate any feedback uh, if this does or does not work for you, but it's been 100% effective in every case that I've tried. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.